Big John McCarthy in charge of this middleweight contest here at ACB 67. Clifford Big Cat Starks in the blue corner. Albert Machete Duraev in the red. Let's get it on. Lee Brian Lacey alongside Frank Mir calling this action. And although Durayev is listed, or well, mainly lists himself as a jiu-jitsu player, he's got one of my favourite styles of boxing. You see it there, just the way he pulls off of shots. He does a good job of pulling. The only thing I don't like that he does when he pulls, he drops that left hand at times. The reach and explosion is, explosiveness of Starks could be a problem. But that's one way to avoid that problem. <laughs> nice double leg, take him right down to the mat. To dominate with this grappling and as a drive that shin across. He's pushing in. He's gonna go and reach for the guillotine. If Clifford keeps driving up, it'll give him a good angle. He's just changed his grip there as well. And now just re-establishing position. Clifford quite a big middleweight as well. This will be a real test for Duraev's return to the middleweight division. He has fought here before. And then step back down to uh, welterweight where he became champion and now pull the guillotine all the way look at that front headlock he's using the sh knee to block that elbow so he can turn the corner now see Ooh. oh the clifford starts turns it around himself the powerful middleweight he's cranking on his neck <laughs> he'll taste his own medicine There's the first grappling exchange between the two. Clifford loves to catch the legs and follow him in. Does exactly that. Clifford's so composed, especially, you know, again, it's hard not to get uh, enamored and distracted with everything that's going outside. And we're here in Grozny. Barracuda's located here in Grozny. And you're fighting one of the leaders of the uh, the team. You're definitely not a, a fan favorite right now. <laughs> the Clifford's, oh, a nice short left there from Dorayev. The Clifford's been embracing this experience. There's been nothing but a joy around the hotel. Great energy, just grateful for the opportunity. Got a child now to uh, plum clinch. Wow, that was good. Got a child now in his life and. Happy to be part of ACB. And he's enjoying the experience at Grozny from, the, from, the, from what I've heard from speaking to him. Two minutes, 15 seconds left in this first round. Nice switch to the body there from Starks. I like that he saw that. He's throwing the jab, but Albert is so good at pulling away from that too that's coming towards his head. But good job to go ahead and aim down at the body. Catches him then. But as I said, Stark has been in there with a, a huge caliber of fighters. His last fight against David Branch for the title at World Series of Fights and took him five rounds. Durayev's last fight was back in May last year in Georgia against Mike Mikhail Sereyev. Great knockout win there. Quite get his hands connected. Albert decided to back out of that. Big shots. Clifford using that jab nicely. Gets yes, real, turns, turns his body and gets real length on that. And he's more economical with his striking. And you can see, even though he's the larger, more muscular guy, he seems just to move much more efficiently, whereas Albert is kind of flinging shots in there, trying to use his momentum of his body to generate power which takes more energy to do so and it also takes more energy to recover from 
Stark such a great take down there, right into the mouth. mount as well. I was about to say Stark's difficult to take off the cage, but Dory have made it look effortless there. Ten seconds left in a nice statement at the end of this first round. By Albert Durayev. Close round, man. I don't know. Real close round. I wouldn't argue either way, to be honest with you. I think Albert probably landed more shots. I mean, just offhand, I'm thinking that. But it got that take down there with the knock, with the punch. So how the judges look at that is really going to weigh into how they decide. So that looks like an effective strike. Yeah, you know what? I think that first round probably is going to go towards uh, big, uh, big cat starts. You know, he landed some great jabs, had that catch off the kick, knocked down uh, Duryev. Duryev had that takedown there, but really wasn't able to do much with it at that moment. It was so late, and the one takedown he had at the beginning, uh, when he went for the guillotine attempt and fell back. Clifford was able to reverse him and then land his own guillotine. So kind of like, you know, wash each other out maybe. Just watching there. Some words there from Big John Durayev. Poured literally a whole bottle of water over his head. The commission not happy about that. They had some cleaning up to do. But we are set for round number two here. Clifford, man, is just he is a poker player. I don't know if he's... The guy looks like he's ordering a cup of coffee. Very composed. There he has eyes much wider open, aware that he's in a tough fight. I like that straight to the body by Clifford as well. I'm working the body twice. Yeah, and then that's going to set up the right hand to the head. <laughs> he beat me to it. <laughs> Got to be quicker than that, Frank Mir. Now starts grinding. Maybe he's felt something in Durayev, that gas tank. Durea felt that he's... Yeah, if he takes him down and ends up on top of Durea, that's going to be a problem. That's a lot of weight for Durea to carry, and it looks like he is worse for the wear. I mean, he hasn't been in the cage for a little bit and just... And that's the whole journey he's not done for a long time. The weight cut, the preparation. Even little things like media on the way up to this. It was a big thing in return. It is a big thing in return into the cage. And, oh, and that's a big takedown. Yeah, and, and Albert... Grabbing the head, that's not helping him out. I mean, he's a big, strong guy, but that's just not going to work. He needs to just build his base back up now. Abandoned oh, holding. Look at that. Just hops into mount. Yep. That was because he was just holding on. Oh, side to choke. Happy Dur to word to the back. Durev's got a mean rear naked choke of his own. Yeah, he has to be careful here. Albert can force himself back down, but now he's getting ground and pounded, and now he's... Still in mount. Now looking to possibly set up that head and arm. Yeah, look at that. He's got it. He's got it. Such a tight grip as well. He might do it from that, but switches to the side. Look at this, Albert Durayev. It's Clifford. He's got his elbow in there. John Hurt. John Herb, there we go, big John McCarthy. I guess we have covering your bases. Clifford somehow surviving this. Well, he's got his forearm in there. It's just enough pressure to keep off the carotid artery. But ends up back in mount now. Yeah, and Albert doing a good job of raining down punishment, not letting him catch his breath. Just smothering him. Clifford looking to power out. Turtles up now. But watch Albert Durayev stretch him out. And look for that rear naked choke, that's deep, that is deep, and he's got it! Albert Durayev makes a triumphant return to the ACB cage. Makes a triumphant return to the middleweight division. And now makes an argument for why he maybe should fight for that vacant middleweight title. Jokka Durayev there. His brother embracing him. They know exactly what he's been through. They've been on this journey together. They mean so much to each other. And you can tell the emotions of Durayev. That victory was more than just another win to him. That is closing of a chapter in his life, which has been very, very difficult with regard to competition.
fair play to Clifford Stark, so as well, came in there, was composed, just got caught, and when it went to the ground, Duray had finished it, great battle between the two. Final shot, and you'll be our final shot. Let's go to the rear, man. 